Hey everybody. How's everybody doing? Um, I hope everybody's doing good. We're doing good. Um, it was a nice Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody else had a nice one. Um, I had posted that I was going to revamp this. Look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. And that side looks fine, but we're going to paint that too. Just make it look a little bit better. It had a few. I got it at a yard sale, of course. I got it at a yard sale. It was $3 for this too. $3 seems to be the number at yard sales for this uh, ugly stuff. Um, <clears throat> I washed it, wiped it out. It was kind of sticky. It had a few little like pieces missing out of it, just tiny ones. And all I did was um, mix some plaster of Paris and made it kind of, you know, thick enough like spackling and just filled it in. So it should not be noticeable. You can see what I did right here. And I might need to sand that a little bit. And no, I have not done this before. Most everything that I I do, I haven't done before. If I have done it before, I'll tell you. Okay, so this underside I'm gonna paint first because obviously the, the, it's gonna sit like this. So I'm gonna paint the underside first. If it's not completely dry, it's okay because <clears throat> We're not going to see it that much. And I don't know if I want to use this. Yeah, maybe I'll use that. Oh, let me show you this color. This is that metallic. Uh, it, it's called Worn Penny. Metallic color. This is what I used on that planter that I have by my front door. See how shiny it is? It does look like a penny. This is pretty much just brown, so. Um, this will make shine it up, make it look new. Can you see the difference? Oh yeah, kind of looks, instead of brown, it looks more coppery like a penny. I'm hoping this turns out pretty pretty. real concerned if I get every uh, crevice it'll just add character to it and when it's sitting right side up you're only going to see a little bit of the underside anyway
You never know what's going to come out of someone's house. I'm telling you, you just never know. I drove all the way to uh, Tampa, which was, it was about, you know, almost 30 minutes to this lady's um, yard sale. She said yard sale. She posted it on um, Marketplace. And she had pictures, and the stuff that she had was really nice. And I um, drove all the way over there. I asked her the price on two things. Both things were $30. They were just farmhouse signs. One was a cow and one was a, um, a pig. She said $30. I said $30. Okay, so I put it back. <laughs> and I just walked back to my car because I'm like, this is not what I call a yard sale. No way. I don't think so. And if you're not willing to come down even a quarter, I probably won't buy it from you. Okay. I may should have done this before. You know what though? This is what I'll do. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it and I can finish under here another time. But at least you can see um, the difference. Let me just use up my paint. Okay. Okay. See? You can see the difference. That's the old side. That's the new side. And I can finish that another time. Not a big deal. Okay, now that, because it's so big, I'm gonna have to do like a little bit and then I'm gonna have to turn it around so you can hold it up so you can see it. Um, Cause I don't think this is something I can paint backwards. But, we're gonna do, um, we're going to start out with white, the whole thing white. <clears throat> and then I have, I have a ton of pinks, 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 pinks. We're not doing turquoise today. <laughs> I've been stuck on that color. Um, okay, let's see, what is this brush? Just using a, it's a small brush. And it's chalk paint. Um, Cause it'll stick to anything. And I, I don't know what this is made out of. It's some kind of plastic fiberglass something or another. Believe me, it's going to look better just white. What were these people thinking? This was probably really pretty back in the day. I do love how it's scalloped, the shape of it, the way it's molded.
hope I can do this kind of quick. tip when you're painting like around the edge of something just do this and it gives you a nice straight line you don't have to paint this way because when you paint this way it's going to get under and everywhere else just hold your brush like this and go around like that that's all you got to do perfectly straight line You try to go sideways, it's going to mess up what you have underneath or the side of it. kind of hairy stuff on it. I don't know what that is. It's looking better, isn't it? Oh, yes. Even just white. Awesome. See there, now we have a clean slate. I need to get this side a little better. Okay, and I'm gonna do up here because it's still looking a little dingy.
two coats. I'm thinking it probably will because I can still see I can still see the leaves and stuff through it. second coat will go on much easier. It always does. Probably just the outer part of it I'm going to do the second coat because we are going to do a bunch of pinks on the inside, the, in the inside of it. I hope this doesn't turn out like my fail on my flower. I know pinks are the right color, but what I'm wanting to do is kind of like a, um, like an ombre, like darker on the inside of the shell and get a little lighter, little lighter, little lighter coming out. Now we just have to see if I can achieve that. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'll make it work. See, and I have so many different pinks. They're different, um, they're different hues, shades. So I gotta figure out, I might have to go with my dark one and add white to it a little at a time and see. The only one I'm really liking with this is that very light one. Oh, 
Oh, this hadn't even been opened yet. This is, um, oh, it says bright magenta. I might have to add some white to that. The apple barrel, bright magenta. It's probably gonna look different on the plate. Yeah. I might need to add white to this. Okay, I am still going to do, I'm just going to use it that dark way down, way down in that, in that valley there. Just where it caves in. Or should I use a smaller brush? I use a smaller brush. Ooh, that's pretty bright. what I can do is just add a little oh yeah that looks good just throw in a little white while it's still wet gonna fan it out so I don't have like a, a solid line Brush. See a little more <laughs> go a little farther on this one side. Okay, so we basically just have can see in there it doesn't look that great but it's you know that's the deepest part of it and we're going to let me get some more paper towels
go in just a little bit with the that dark color and just kind of blend it in there because I do want this the deepest part darker mix my white and my dark together. Okay, let's see here. white and we're just going to go lighter and lighter and lighter I'm not going all the way to the edge because my plan was not to. So if I do happen to get it on the edge, I will just um, put some white on it. Just kind of stopping. Shoot fly. You can just swirl your paint still wet. the darker in there.
Now I think that looks more like a real, a real clamshell. The only other thing I think I might want to do, which would not be any more pink. That is enough pink. And I'm not using that one. I like that. Just use the dark and add a little white. And then add a little more white to that and it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter. And then just go back and highlight with the, the darker color. I, I'm seeing it upside down, but. can see the different colors in there um, I do have a sea sponge and I think I might sponge a little around the edges and I wanted to add some iridescent white glitter just on the edges And if, you, if you're using a sea sponge, and you can cut these too. If you want something smaller, a little small piece, you can cut them. I, um, I've already dampened it. You want to wet it and wring it out. Mine's already um, damp. And just like um, you don't want too much on there, you just want a little bit. Okay? And I'm just gonna go around the edges. Oh, my sponge is falling apart. It just kind of brings it together. I'll fix that right there when I paint that um, other color, that copper color on it. And when you use a sea sponge and you get and you use it with paint, put it right in water real quick because it'll um, dry up on you. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter just on the edges where it's still wet. goes a long way so oh I just I'm dumping it see that's all I used and it was full if you can see that shining probably not but I would take a picture I will take a picture of it and I'll post it and I thank you guys so much I hope this video wasn't longer than 38 minutes because I don't want to splice it when I splice my videos together if I go over 38 minutes it's like I'm in a Japanese Godzilla movie because my mouth doesn't move with my um 
with my voice. So, okay, you guys have a great night. And I hope you had fun doing this. I hope you learned something. Um, please like, comment, ask me questions. Anything is fine. And pass along to a friend. That would be great. Okay, you guys have a great night.